Hi friends! Welcome back to Disabled in Nature, where we talk about all things that are disabled in nature, and sometimes we even go outside. Today we're kind of outside, I guess. We're in my garage, and I'm going to give you a tour of my travel power wheelchair. First, I'm going to show you how I get it in and out of the car, and then we'll take a little tour of its components. And then I use this to pull the tailgate shut. Hi, now I'm in my travel wheelchair. It has quite a different turning radius than the other one does. Basic components are the controller. It has buttons that control the chair's functions. It's the power button, and then this dial controls the maximum speed down for slower. But why would I want to go slower? So I keep it all the way up. This is the horn. Pretty pathetic, honestly. And then this is the power button. Now it's off. And now it's back on again. The controller is powered by this cord here, which goes down to the computer and the battery to disconnect. It has this little thing here. Disconnect it. Power doesn't turn on. Doesn't go anywhere. So when I go on like an airplane or something and my wheelchair needs to be stowed beneath the plane, I always take the controller off and take it with me on the plane because, you know, I can get easily battered around um, and broken. 29 wheelchairs a day are broken or damaged by airlines, so I don't want to give them the option or the opportunity to destroy my legs. Power is restored and I can move again. This chair also has flip up armrests. So there's a button here that you push it and then pull up. And the armrests go completely up. The other side does it too. You push in and pull up. And this is a really good feature. I can more easily transfer in and out of my chair when I need to um, with the armrest up. I'm gonna get out of the chair now um, so that I can show you some of the other components on the bottom, like the battery and how it folds. So here she is in her glory without me in her. Her name is Cecilia, say hi. The first thing that I wanna point out is this extra cushion. I used to just sit on this chair with just this cushion um, and the cushions are you know, fully removable because it is a travel chair. It's a very small cushion, basic foam in here so it's not very comfortable. So my lovely mother got me this cushion. It's nice and light contoured. It's much thicker, much higher quality and higher density foam. So I always use this now when I'm sitting in this chair for longer periods of time, and it's been great. Another thing to point out, the foot plate comes up, so if I need to do a transfer off the front, it doesn't stay up very well. So if I need to do a transfer like out of the front of the chair, I'll flip this up and then put my feet directly on the ground, and that works really well. So this is what she looks like in the back. I know, very exciting. In the back here, there's several things that happen. There's this latch right here. This is what folds the chair. So when this latch is up, it's connected by a magnet. So when it latches down like that, the back is not gonna go anywhere. But when it's latched up, the chair can fold. And then the back comes all the way up, latch goes down, and then, so when I sit in it, it doesn't fold on me. That has certainly happened more than once, where the latch was not fully connected and I like just went splat on the ground. These red handles here and here are the neutral brake locks. They're, they're what flips the chair into neutral. 
So if they're locked down, the motor is engaged and I can drive the chair around. But if they're flipped up like this, the controller blinks, I can't go anywhere. Um, it's in a neutral mode, so like battery were to die and I needed to be pushed uh, around by someone, we'd flip it into neutral and then they would push to the back here. And then you can put down, walk right down, the controller is back to normal and I could drive the chair around again. This right here is the rope that we, we attached to this, obviously. This is the rope that I attached to the hook on the crane in the back of my car. So when the chair is folded, it's attached to the crane hook here and then that's what lifts it up into the car. So the battery is that little black lump that you see down there. Um, it is removable. So it is the second thing, including the controller that I take out and take on planes with me when I travel. Let's put her back in the car. Come on, Cecilia. First dive back up. Turn the chair off. Disengage the neutral levers. I always make sure that the armrests are free so that it can freely fold down once I get up. And then, and then so the lift arm moves in and out and this is the attachment that I'm going to hook onto the rope. Unhook the latch. And I stand up. This is why I disengaged the neutral so that it would roll up the bumper. And then I'm gonna need this controller again, so I just stick it up there and then put left hand here, right hand here to guide, and then I just push. plug it in so that it's ready for my next adventure. We have this extension cord plugged into the wall in our garage. I keep the charger in my car and then it has this little prong thing that plugs into the bottom of the controller and then it plugs into the extension cord. You know how slugs work. And then a little red light turns on the charger and I know I'm all set to go. It will turn green when the battery is full. Thanks for coming along to watch a tour of my travel wheelchair with me today. I hope it was interesting. If you thought this video was interesting, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment. I promise that we're gonna get outside really soon. We have an outdoor outing planned for this weekend, so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me for that. Let me know if you wanna see other things like it. If you wanna see a tour of this wheelchair or maybe the accessibility components in my home, I would happily make that for you. Until next time, friends, be well. Thanks for coming. Don't forget to get outside, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.